What's up folks, Ethan here at Hunt Ford in Franklin, Kentucky, and we are in a 2023 Ford Mustang Mach-E. And yes, I've got a GoPro on my head. So what that means is we are gonna take this for a quick spin, but we're not gonna do a full driving review in this video today. What we're taking a look at is the all new update for Blue Cruise. Ford updated so that you don't even have to change lanes anymore. The car will take care of that for you. So let's take a quick look. Now this is a GT trim level. This is in cyber orange and we'll do a full walk around of this for you in the future as well as a full driving review. This is going to be the performance feature of the Mach-E moving forward. Um, and you know, I'm calling it Ford's performance vehicle of the future. Now, all of that aside, what we're really talking about today is the new update for the Blue Cruise system. And so this is gonna be Blue Cruise 1.2. The biggest change is that you now have the ability to have the vehicle lane change for you. Now you can also have this as an update if you don't like Blue Cruise, you can use this in the lane change assist for your adaptive cruise control. You know, you pair that with the lane centering and as long as you have your hand on the steering wheel, it will help you change lanes, but if you do favor Blue Cruise, it will actively do that instead of you having to keep your hands on the steering wheel. So we are going to hop on the interstate here, give you a quick look at how this works, and we'll go from there. We've already got my phone hooked up to the Ford Pass app. That's really going to allow you to enable your Blue Cruise. So we're gonna get up to speed here which is no problem in this GT. Get over into the middle lane and we're gonna turn on our cruise control. Now, it'll give you a few seconds before it officially notifies you that you are in hands-free mode. But once it does, you'll be able to actively take your hands off the wheel. So we are completely hands-free. And the best part about this new update is that I don't have to do the lane change myself anymore. So you can do this one of two ways. You can actively press the turn signal down and it'll do it for you. Or you could just tap it and it'll do it as well. So we'll make sure there's nobody behind. And we'll do that now. As you can tell, it's kind of giving you your information on what it's doing for you. And another nice feature is it'll actively tell you when you can change lanes. So I don't know exactly how this is working. My guess is that it's taking information from the blind spot system and it is going to be able to kind of tell you where the vehicles are around you on the road. So what do you think? This is a big update for the Blue Cruise system. You know, I originally said that down the line, I'm sure that Ford would add this feature and I'm excited to see that they actually did. Obviously, there is still a lot to do and a lot of improvements to make for fully self-driving vehicles to be really viable down the line, but this is, again another big step and i'm excited to see where it goes ford only has this available for a small amount of roads in the country i think it's around a hundred thousand miles but it is exciting to see that this kind of technology is making a big advance so yeah Tell us what you think down in the comments below. As always, if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, go ahead and do so and hit that notification bell. We've got lots of videos coming out in the near future. You're not gonna wanna miss it. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments. And if you liked this video, please let us know by hitting that like button. It's one of the easiest ways for you to tell us which videos you enjoyed and which videos you want to see more of in the future. Other than that, folks, Stay tuned for our videos and our walk around of this Mustang Mach-E GT. Other than that, take care folks, we'll catch you later.